we just talked about father. So now you're graduating college. So tell me about uh, you ended your school and now you're going to get your first job. Father was done in the in the in the bag. So weight off as they say. And so uh happened to agree. I really I must admit, I really, really, really wanted uh, a first, but didn't get one. That was Karen Watson that got the first. I got a 2 1. It's like a B. And uh, I really thought with the movie being that long, I'm just saying. So I had my 2 1. I remember we were sitting outside and we got our, uh, we're waiting for these results. And somebody pointed out that we were signing ourselves up for a life where we'd never be sitting in the sun, it'd be kind of working in the dark and that was light boxes back then but that kind of evolved into computers now so we're kind of vampires the life of vam vampiric vampiric whatever vampirism and so uh, it's kind of depressing when she said that I was like, oh yeah I didn't think about spending every day in shadow trying to see through layers of paper so anyway so I left college had my, my my movie and my movie was already snapped up pretty quickly by Spike and Mike they were they came and kind of visited the college to look for uh, talent or movies or whatever and they uh, they asked very early on to if they could sign up the movie it wasn't even finished yet but they, they signed it up and um, I think it went off on tour with uh, Spike and Mike which is they kind of went international so that was a good thing and so I had my degree and now I had the much harder job of finding a bloody job so it's not like now where it's you know oh I'm going to email my my link to you know this person this person this person oh I should just copy and paste it, all these people and shh, everyone gets your work you know and back then you had you know one master copy which was like you know the holy grail this has to be like kept in you know some shoe box under the bed usually and then the other one was the one you sent out for we well, didn't send it out you had to get on a bus and go to the station buy a ticket and get into London and walk from the station to an address hopefully they let you in hopefully they let you give it to the receptionist and hopefully they get it to someone to look at and you left your phone number you know and they called you and said you know it's ready to collect and you know I'm really sorry but nobody's left their job you know since and we don't need anyone we already have you know, full staff and so then you get to take to the next place and that's how fast you spread you know your your resume around you, you had to take it from place to place this one copy there's some people that had a bit more money that they made copies and sent those off but I didn't really have that much money so I took it into London and I was hoping to get an interview I was hoping to speak to somebody it could be like you know super enthusiastic and so this went on for a while as you can imagine and in that time the moot and the um, father was doing really well in the festivals he was getting some winning some awards uh, is uh, awarded in Annecy and uh, Stuttgart Film Festival and Ghent in Belgium and the L Los Angeles animation celebration and uh, Chicago Film Festival and so it was like wow it's like the movie's doing really well and BBC were interested in showing it wow the movie's doing really well but yeah I couldn't get a bloody job it was like uh, I took it to I took my movie to one place and I gave it to them came back they said it's too political too political your movie this movie about a boy and his father too political Obviously, that they didn't watch it or 
mixed up with somebody else. I hope they mixed up with somebody else because I hope they watched it at least. Uh, so I was like, well, that was a waste of time leaving it with this company for like a week. So take it to the next place. And so I had a job as a bartender and it seemed like bartender was taking up more of my time. You know, it was more my focus was just earning my money to, so I could you know, pay my mum some money or uh, save up for a car or whatever. So my friend Timmy Sell, Tim Tim Sell, uh, he's I think he's currently anim uh, directing those Mr Bean um, animated Mr Beans in England, but he came up and he said, "How about you put your film on this co compilation reel of all uh, the student films together?" So there's this spectrum of uh, movies, and if one of the companies like you know might like one of those styles I think I want a commercial in that style I really like that person I'd like to hire that person so okay I gave my film to Timmy and thought that was a message in a bottle you know it might come back and so I, I finished college in June of 88 and we're now into April of 89 nothing no job working as a bartender really really a lot of shifts uh, getting good at bartending and stock taking of wine I'm getting good at doing that and so I was going to work and I saw so this postcard I grabbed this postcard and just grabbed it on the way to work and when I was at work I was on a break and read this postcard and it was like from Timmy oh great and he said that this company had seen the, my film and really liked it and liked it enough that they wanted me to go along and wanted to meet me, wanted to give me a, uh, an interview. So that was like the greatest news in the world, you know. This is this is a shot, you know. So I was like, oh crap. Uh, so I, I think I went sick, maybe. I, think I went sick from work, you know a sick day went up to London and took my reel and took my portfolio and it went to this really cool pl uh, quaint old cobbled streets area of London you know it's near um, St Martin's Lane and uh, Leicester Square and uh, went into this old building and into the caged elevator you know, as it goes up and you can see, you know, out the case, all the stairs going past. And uh, this is an amazing place. And it was right next to the Theatre District of London, the West End, right next door to it. This is a great place to work. And uh, met the guys and uh, it was mainly Tony Catania and Richard Olive and had a chat with them. And they really liked the movie. They liked it enough that they said, we want to show uh, Ron, but, you know, how do you feel about working here? I was like, oh, yeah, that's, of course, you know, that's why I'm here. <laughs> I wouldn't come for the interview. I didn't want to work here. So I didn't know what the hell they did, but, you know, it was a job. And uh, it turned out that they animated the Tetley Teabag commercials which I was really familiar with and the Ribena commercials that I was really familiar with and uh, they're like so can you start now <laughs> I'm like okay <laughs> they called my work oh, I won't be coming back <laughs> today or ever <laughs> I'm going to dock your pay okay you know, I had my pay docked but I was an animator you know I was a fully fledged animator as April 18th 1989. Tell me the part about the um, when they watched the the movie with you there. Oh, what it was like? Well, it's a long movie, so ten minutes, and it's a bit of a heart wrencher. If anyone's seen it, uh, it's a bit of a heart wrencher. So, and, and I'm watching it all the time, knowing 
they're scrutinizing it and it's all my work like you know it was like standing in front of with my pants around my ankles you know it felt like that it was like oh god and 10 minutes long so it's like, and then watch it all oh, got to the end and uh it's all quiet and then uh Richard Olley said he really loved it and uh, that was the second time he'd seen it he'd seen it you know, on the other reel and uh, oh this guy you know, must like it he's <laughs> sat through it twice you know and uh, it turned out that you know, he was the, uh, the up and coming you know, director at uh, White Catania which is where I was at the White Catania studio and he said, yeah, we'd love to hire you, but we'd like to have to show it to Ron. So I was like, okay, show it to Ron. I never thought that Ron would make me sit through another 10 minutes <laughs> of this movie. Uh, sitting there, you know, pants around my ankles again. And this is the big boss. Like, oh, got to the end. And, and he liked it. So it's like, oh. And lucky he did, because the other guys already put, gave me a, a desk, you know. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's when I started uh, my first job in traditional animation.